Looking at the documents for the cost and manufacturing event, they're split into three. We have the Bill of Materials, which is then subsequently broken down into the Costed Bill of Materials and Detailed Bill of Materials. We have the Cost Explanation File and then the Supporting Material. Looking at the Bill of Materials, the first off is the Detailed Bill of Materials. We've got two examples here, one from Bath and one from Portsmouth. Two cost winners, you can see the level of detail in each. One's a concept class, the other's a formal student class. So the idea of the detailed bill of materials is to show the judges every component used within the vehicle. This isn't just components, but it's processes as well. So all materials we've seen, fasteners and tooling to show how you've come about with that product. Looking at the costed bill of materials, that is then looked at for former student class, you have frame and body and suspension. And for concept classes, you're just looking at the frame and body. This is needs to show exactly how the parts have been made with the processes and costs associated to them. These are both created using the online cost tool, which we'll go further into detail later in this series. But next, we'll move on to the cost explanation file. This is where all of the calculations that you have used for the detailed and costed bill of materials are shown. Not only such as labour rates, but this could be what machines you've used and what costs are associated to them. Past that, you go into the supporting material. The supporting material file shows all of the drawings for all of the parts you've shown in the detailed bill of materials. The reason this is so important is the judges need to be able to see what you're costing. Is it value for money? Have you looked at the material selection? And really so they can have a visual representation of your vehicle before they stand next to it at the event. The importance of these documents cannot be overlooked, not only in writing them and the preparation for them, but knowing them off by heart. You'll be shocked the level of detail the judges already know of your submissions before you get there. I've had it before in two of the events and the judge, judges knew the cost report almost better than I did. But it is important for each team member to have an understanding of cost, but vital that the people that are going to be in the cost event know it page for page and make sure the level of detail that's understood is the same as what's on the paper. The judges will grill you for these and they will make sure that you know these cost reports as well as they do. So as an example of the level of detail that's needed throughout my process in, in former student, I used to annotate each cost report and make sure that on each one I had highlighted sections so I knew what the costs were going to be, how much time was associated to each process and the amount of material that it would take for each one. Then when the judges did ask, we already had an answer ready and it was just an idea of being able to have a visual representation to each page. The DBOOM itself is a very long document full of lots of information. If you can find ways to make it easy to recall that information, when a judge does ask you a question, you'll have it ready. So for more information on any of these sections for the reports, there are PDF publications up on the iMEC site that will go much more in depth and reference each rule that you should be aware of.